Good afternoon, everyone. Long time no see. Uh, this is Brandy back again. And today what I'm doing is something that my friend, Lauren Sebastian, who is an artist in England, um, she, I don't know if she originated it, but I know it's something she is hugely supportive of, which is called doodle smudging. And so basically what you do is you put some splotches of paint on the paper. You know, if you're trying to figure out something you're creative to do and you don't know what to do, put some paint splotches down and then you doodle around it with pen or pencil or whatever. So for instance, this right here is a little bird that I did. I thought it was really cute. Um, I was doing these a while ago. That is from a little turtle, sea turtle, uh, shark. Uh, that's actually not a doodle smudge. I think I painted that, drew that first. Um, and then I decided, you know, what I'll, I'll try this with some of, oh, here's one of the ones I love. Um, there's my little chickens and rooster. Um, so some of the, some of the ones I have, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with yet. This one, I see it as a woman with a white kind of skirt and she's holding like a ray of sunshine or maybe even just a, a ball of light. But I, I, I'm still working on how to, how to draw figures and proportions and such. So I haven't finished that one yet. So I decided that that's what I'm going to do with my Aquanaut books from Margaret over at Xanadu Art Studio. So over the last week I've been doing a little um, splotchies. Let's see. So... Uh, that is not with it. Let's see. Okay, we're going to do one together. But So here's one I did with some of the colors I got. I haven't decided what that one is. I have this one. I'll take it up a little bit closer. So to me, when I look at it, I see like a round frog over here with his two legs and then a taller frog over here with his arm bent and his other arm around this frog and his leg around this frog. I'm not really sure exactly what they're doing. Kind of just staring off looking at the fireworks maybe. But I haven't drawn that one yet because I just haven't had the guts yet. But it's all about fun so I shouldn't worry too much about it. So uh, this one I did which I've already kind of put some pencil sketches in. When I looked at it, I kind of saw a mermaid, which is funny because I'm not really, I didn't do mermaid, but I see a mermaid. So that's what we're going to ink up today. Um, and then this one, I looked at it and it kind of looks like a, a baby dragon belching out an over eight. It's got a big tummy. So that's what I did a little sketch in for. So we're going to ink that. Um, and then what I thought I'd do is I'd swatch out the colors from the box for uh, May. Yeah, May. I have May's box. And then I actually, I have some extras and I'm going to do a little giveaway. So if you're interested, um, watch me. I'll swatch out the colors and then we can, I'll tell you about the giveaway. So let me get a paintbrush. I bought these. This is my first time buying a, a quill brush. Um, this is from, it's Creative Mark, it's from Jerry's Artorama, and they had a great sale last week, I think, so I picked up a few, and I really like them. Um, okay, so, let me show you what I have here. So I have, I've obviously been doing some painting already, because this is very, this is um, the May Aqueduct box, and <laughs> you see I've been doing some playing. And so I used a lot of those colors when I was making um, the little splotchy stuff that I showed you. So the colors are burgundy, red ochre, turquoise blue, Poland gold, ochre, cobalt green, uh, Prussian blue, and cypress green. And so this was the May Aqueduct box. So we can go through and we can swatch out all these colors. But my give um, Margaret gave me a few extras. One of them is this cute little box. Uh, this is because I support her on Patreon. And so I got these little mini palette, which I think are so cute. I love them, and the colors all really go well together. Um, so I have that. Which some of the colors are similar to what I got in the box. That's okay with me. 
And then I got this other little mini palette and it has gold ochre, cookie monster, plum crazy, and watermelon. And so I love it. I think it's very pretty colors, but I actually do have, um, some are not exactly the same, but I have most of the colors that are in here or something very similar. So this is going to be a giveaway item. So if you're interested, um, I will let you know what to do. The other item, I have another mini palette that she sent me and I actually already have this mini palette. Uh, the exact same one it has wild strawberry, blue sky, hibiscus and Vulcan is the green. So uh, first let's do some swatching of these colors and then we'll do some doodling. And so the first one I'll do is the dot card. So I'll just put a drop on each of these just to re-wet it. Okay, so we'll start with the green. It's light, but I'm not I'm using a very soft brush, which is not going to help pick up this pigment too well. I think that's a pretty color. It has a this brush I'm still not used to. I love it, but I'm not used to it because it seems to leave a little bit of suds. I'm not sure maybe it is leftover soap from when I removed the the sizing from it. I would have thought it would all have been gone by now since I've used it several times. It definitely leaves some suds sometimes when I'm really vigorous. Argy, that's my dog Argyle. It's a little white Chihuahua mix. We have this pretty blue. Oops, I actually broke off some of it with the brush. So, this is that burgundy red ochre. I might actually, I'll show you some pictures of things I've been up to uh, in, since the last time I uh, posted. I think with the watercolors you need to let it sit a little bit to really release. Um, because this blue now, has I put a dot on them all at the same time and this one has had a chance to sit the longest. light green. I know when I swatched these they were darker but I think I, I think I soaked them a little bit longer or let them re-wet a little longer. So this is that this is a gold ochre. She called it Poland gold ochre. Alright. They're a little bit light. I think uh, What happened is I didn't let them get re-wet as easily. So hold on a sec. I'm going to put just a single drop on all of them. And let it sit over on my counter. We have this little four pack. Not pretty. I thought about putting this one as a giveaway, but I really just I love that color so much. So the blue is is very similar to what I got in the box. And that's pretty color. I think they generally look really well together, like when she picks the colors, I think they go well together. There's that green. But I'm not, I don't love green to be honest with you. I like it sometimes. But yeah, it's a very pretty green. Okay, set that down. Let me grab my little dot card again. So much sudsies. I'm 
It's all from my brush. It's so weird. All right, yeah, look at that. It just needs to have a little bit of time. A little bit of time to activate with the water. Oh, yeah. Which is, I mean, it's similar to that one, but it's definitely not the same color. There you go. See that fold over a little bit better now. Okay, so those are the colors that I'm keeping for myself. colors that I'm going to get giveaway. So let me move that and I'll just use um, I'll use the back of a little watercolor postcard. So this is the first one. This, this is the Wild Strawberry, Hibiscus, Blue Sky, and Vulcan. That's the strawberry, wild strawberry. I think that's a pretty color. As I say, I already have this exact four, four pack palette, mini palette thing. So I don't really need to have a second one. Might as well share it with somebody else. There's the blue sky. It's a little bit of gold in it, like little flecks of gold actually. Um, they all have a slight little bit of shimmer to them. So the strawberry is has a, like some silver flecks in it. And the rest of them have, I'm pretty sure this one has gold flecks in it. Hibiscus. So some of these colors I have because I had bought a bunch of her little mini pans. Um, so like I have hibiscus in a mini pan. So, and I have it in this little palette so I really don't need it a third time okay then we have this other one which has additional gold ochre this is the other little mini palette so we've got some gold ochre here, which is, this is a little bit of a brighter gold ochre than the one that is in the, the May box, but I'll still share it with somebody else. This is Cookie Monster, pretty blue. This one is, it's called Plum Crazy. Really pretty purple. And this is watermelon, which again, I actually bought this um, and I have it in a little mini palette because I just love the color. Oh, not mini palette, a mini pan. It's like a quarter size pan that she had made and you can order different watercolors that are hers in mini pans you want to have like a really miniature palette so and um, so that's those so these are the two this one and this one these are the two mini palettes that I'm going to be giving away for the first two people who subscribe and give a comment that says they subscribed so what we'll do I'm going to show you how I have been doing my little doodle smudges so what I'll do, I usually put some water. Sometimes I just flick, 
drops of water and sometimes I actually um, I have to actually use I just cover the whole surface of it um, and then you just pick some paint and you can either flick it I don't have enough water on there to do that flick it or you can kind of do a little swirly you can kind of flop it around I have my easel slightly inclined because I like the well because there's an artist called Laurel Laurel Hart and she she keeps her easel slightly at an incline because she wants her colors to all run down and mix together and give that gorgeous neutral tone. And then we'll just put a little over here. So we will let this dry while we're doing our doodling um, with the smudges that I already painted. And then maybe brainstorm about what we could doodle into there. And if I can't, I'm, I'm up to hearing what other people might have as suggestions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I think I will do this one first and I'm going to grab some paint and I'm going to just tape it up real quick so it doesn't move. And my husband had bought me a calligraphy set for Christmas and I started using it a few weeks ago and I really am enjoying it. And I also have just some dip pens that I had bought on a whim. So what we're going to do is use some, instead of using a, a pen, we're like a traditional type pen. We're going to use a dip pen in a jar of ink to do our sketches on here. So I'm debating whether I want to use like Bombay inks in different colors. I have I have Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay inks. I have this set here, which has uh, India uh, golden yellow, orange, tangerine, crimson, cherry red, violet. I think. Aqua, turquoise, yellow ochre, terracotta, Van Dyke brown, and sepia. I also have Windsor & Newton inks, drawing inks, which is canary yellow, orange, black Indian ink, scarlet, blue, emerald, nut brown, and violet. And then I have black waterproof ink. I have Bombay white ink. And I have... Higgins waterproof black ink as well as blue. So I think I'm just going to, I don't know, for this first one I think I'll just do black. So let me get my dip pen and put a nib in there and get started. I have the speedball ones and the, I have all my nibs in this little glass tin. So it has two sizes, a, a large and a small. Um, so I'm going to go with a larger one. Larger nib which goes to my larger of the two pens. There it is. If you can see it. We have that little well in there. So let's give it a whirl, see how it goes. I know I should be dumping this into a little jar, but I'm not. Okay, so I just, I kind of want the scratchiness, any regular lines. That I'm going to get with using this type of pen. So, so now you can see her shape coming. And 
and uh, be gentle on me. I, I'm I'm not I don't have a lot of experience drawing figures. And I actually don't really want to put hands there. I kind of want it to just be her arms are just out. Uh, let's see. There you go. You can see that a little bit better. And give this midge more ink. And her hair, I kind of see it as just really flowy. So actually, maybe that'll overlap with her armlets. I'm doing this and it makes me think of like Medusa or snake hair. I'm going to try and go in and put some more like, strands. See, I'm still learning. I've been watching tutorials by Alfonso Dunn. As I have his books, I had requested those as a Christmas gift, and I got them. Um, and I've been watching his video, and I did watch about doing hair, but... At this point, it was already, I had this idea in my mind. So the hair looks a little bit wonky, such as life. Okay. Mm, yeah, I'll just stick with black for everything for this one. Then we have her, this is the back of her, where her fit, scales start. Now, this is where I think it would be pretty neat if I had some, like, iridescent ink. I don't have any of that. I do have the blue, but I don't know. I think that might look a little bit funny. Okay, and then some texture on her tail fin. That's what it's called. I don't know. There's that one. What do you think? Just, just experimenting and exploring. Just for the fun of it. And to try new things without any real pressure. I think the next one we'll do is my little dragon. I think he's super cute. Now, I feel like dragons are, are, are green. Well, he's a lot of green. So, I'm debating whether I want to use this black or whether I want to go in and get... I'm not pouring it into a jar. I probably should just use the black. That way I don't contaminate my other ink with this black. So, okay. Just go for it. And hopefully, you guys can see well. My other camera... Oops, a little splatter. My other camera, I thought I had charged the battery, but apparently I, uh... I had turned it on to look at a picture, I suppose, and... I never turned it off. So I came up here because I had the time to, uh, to do a recording. And battery is dead. So I'm using my phone. This is my first time using it for any real... Uh, 
I'm not finishing recording. I usually just record my son doing silly things. this way and he's got wings here oh, kind of back there and he has his little nostril maybe he has like a tooth or so right there I love the sound of this pen on paper. I like the scratchiness of it. And let's say we've got some flames coming up. I see there's a little baby dragon. He ate too much and now has heartburn. He's Squirting out his little flames. He's just fun and cute. It does a dragon have ears? I don't know. If he does, they're going to be more like puppy dog ears. And they're going to be down a little bit because he doesn't feel good. So this is... Sick dragon, baby, boo-hoo. I kind of wish I hadn't put the ears on. Looks a little silly. But I did it. It's moving. It's done. Moving on. Oops, sorry about that. I have yet to find a good work, good, good setup for using my camera and easel and tripod. I feel like I would just want something that can just be right over top of the, wherever I'm working. So here's some things I've been working on. Let's see. Sorry, I banged a tripod again. Okay, so I was saying... Alfonso done. So these are some of the, here we go. So he explained faces to me in such a way that it made sense in terms of proportions. And so I've got all my notes here and my lines. And so this is when I did just watching his video where he showed about, you know, memorizing your proportions, measure, mark, and make lines. I haven't worked on the profile one at all. This is all just front facing. And these are some of the ones that I've done just on my own, just playing around. And that was a sketch I tried doing that got things off. And I guess the one I did last night, I did in a different sketchbook. So, I won't be able to see that. But, that's okay. Maybe I'll figure out how to put some screenshots into this video so you can see some of these things. So, well, this is not dry. But what I'm kind of seeing so far, even though it's not dry yet, is I almost see like a boat. Um, and then maybe the moon right here. And it's drifting off into the sunset type thing. Not sunset, it's already moon. But I don't know. That's kind of what I'm seeing. So maybe I'll put some white stars in because I do have that India ink. Uh, the white India ink. Um, so, Or maybe it could be a gondola like in Venice. I don't know. Maybe I could put some buildings in. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, guys. So these are the two mini palettes I'm going to be giving away. And the colors are swatched out on the back of this watercolor postcard. The one on the left has um, Gold Ochre, Cookie Monster, Plum Crazy, and Watermelon. 
And the one on the right has wild strawberry, sky blue, hibiscus, and Vulcan, which is the green. So uh, if you're interested in getting these, leave a comment. And uh, at the end of June, you have until the end of the last day of June, and then I will put everybody's name into a random number generator, and I'll pick two people to randomly win um, one of one of these palettes.